I've come to a typical family home with quite an old electrical installation which doesn't meet the requirements of the 17th edition, especially with regards to RCD protection. And I'm going to measure the functional earth leakage currents produced by different bits of equipment to see what kind of issue might arise when this house is finally rewired and brought up to date. Now to do my testing, I'm going to be using a clamp meter that has a milliampere range and for this work I need to be able to place it around the circuit protective conductor by itself. Well, so that I don't have to start hacking away at the flex in each appliance, I've got a specially prepared extension lead where part of the circuit protective conductor has been exposed. Let's look at the equipment on the ground floor ring circuit and the obvious place to start is the front room. So here we've got a large flat screen TV, a DVD player and a cable box and a PlayStation 3. So let's start with the TV. So it is fluctuating as we might expect but the highest I've seen there is 0.85 milliamps. So now we have the DVD player which also provides the surround sound and looking at the supply cable I noticed that this is very likely to just be too core and doesn't have a circuit protective conductor but we'll test it anyway. And we're seeing very little reading, 0 0.01 fluctuating. So I'm guessing it's class 2 with no functional error. And it's the same situation with the Digibox. No functional earth, no current flowing. And finally for this room we have the PlayStation 3. Now we have in there a processor board, we have a cooling fan and there's also a Blu-ray drive. So we need all of these things active to make sure that the maximum leakage current is flowing. So I'm going to start the drive and let's take a look. And as we expected it is fluctuating a lot but I did see a 2.24 milliamps there, that's the highest I've seen so far. So we'll go with 2.24 milliamps for the PlayStation 3. The only other device that counts in this room is the television. If we add those together, we get 3.09 milliamps.